Right now we're looking at 120-5. Uh, she's sort of an off-belted, uh, really stout sculled, uh, good built one here on screen right now. She sells as lot 54. She's sired by In the Rough. Uh, in the Rough was a provoked uh, board that we had from Nate Warner. Uh, he was actually a litter mate to the guilt that was supreme at OIE that year. And uh, we had a chance to get him in here. South side here is a dirty secret vendetta, drop and swag. And uh, she's bred to move the needle. And this is another one. Um, you know, she's not the fluffiest one uh, compared to some of her contemporaries, but if you really uh, can appreciate the indicators uh, that in my mind reveal stoutness and reveal their ability to generate stoutness and, and uh, you know, generate the sort of traits uh, that everybody wants to gravitate to today, this one has it. Uh, in the Rough was very stout, and uh, all of the pigs really out of In the Rough had this sort of skull shape uh, and this sort of feature. And then if you, you evaluate her hip and the way her, her skeleton's put together, uh, she really resembles that dirty sow. Uh, and maybe more importantly, the drop and swag sow on the bottom side of her pedigree. Um, this is a neat one. Uh, she's bred a little different than some of them, uh, but not really because we're still dealing with a provoked son. We've still got two shots of dirty secret there in the pedigree, uh, but she's bred to move the needle. And I think this could be really neat. I can't tell you how many times throughout the course of the past couple of years that whether it be going through the slot barn and going through nurseries and, you know, you start asking about what's that one, what's that one, how many times the end the ref sow has come up in the course of conversation. Um, and then you kind of get to see her here and see what she is on paper and what we're doing here. It all makes a lot of really good sense. And, man, I'm telling you, her skull and her tail and her foot size is for real. Um, and with all that, her immaturity still and the angulation she has to her rear joints is about as impressive as it gets. And um, she runs uphill. She looks like the right kind of uh, sow that, uh, that generates. And I think the way she's bred here gives her an incredible chance to have a home run kind of a litter, um, one that looks like, no doubt, uh, little pig sailing time. Um, if you're looking for, an ROI, for a quick ROI, this one needs to be a short lister because I can promise you this sow packs a punch and she's bred to a stout one. Yep, we're talking about 120-5. Uh, she sells as lot 54. She's an in-the-rough, dirty secret, bred to move the needle and do June 23rd.